How's it going YouTube? Today we are going to unbox this box right here. This is the November Lucky Tackle Box Bass Fishing Extra Large Edition 2016. But first I have some important information. This won't take long, so just bear with me. So I was recently contacted by a new phishing app. This is a phishing app that hasn't even hit the market yet, and they asked me to test it. What I asked them is if I could offer this to you guys for you guys to test it. And they said yes. Why is this good? This is the most advanced phishing app to date. They are running a beta test right now and they need you guys to help test it to work out all the kinks, to make sure everything is working properly, and then it's gonna go live. Now, I can't really tell you a whole lot about this app, but trust me, you guys are gonna love it. Like I said, it is the most advanced fishing app to date that's out there. It's incredible. When they told me what it could do, I didn't believe them. I had to make sure that they proved it to me, and it works. In order to test it, all you have to do is click the link down below, fill out the information. Once you've submitted your information, you have to go to that email that you entered and confirm it. You have to do this. This confirms that you're not an alien or a robot. And once you've done that, you're good to go. The benefit of this is one, you get to test an app that's not even out on the market yet. And two, whoever tests it, once the app does go live, you'll get one free month. Once it does go live, once everything is ready to go. And trust me, you guys are gonna want this app. All of you guys watching, all every single one of you guys watching will be able to use this app when you're out fishing. It's gonna be nuts. So click the link down below, fill out the information, confirm the email, have fun. Okay, let's actually get into the Lucky Tackle Box unboxing, which is what this video is about. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's it. As you guys can see, there's nothing left. We don't need this. So the first thing in the box that I like to go over is the Fish Hound Magazine. Now this thing is just filled with all sorts of good stuff. It's got tons of tips and has all the baits for the Bass XL box and the fly fishing box. So if you guys got like one of the boxes and you wanna see what was in the other ones, all your information is in here. Lucky Tackle Box sticker. Now we've got all of these baits that came in here. And if you guys are wanting the information on what these cost, what the total box cost, check down below. I will have all that information listed for you guys. But we're gonna start off with this bait. This, this is the bait that I, I don't even understand. I don't know if it's gonna work. It's pretty insane. Now, to the naked eye, this may just look like the Parrick Special Crankbait, um, nothing really to it, but as you can see, it is squishy, it is soft, which is just crazy. It blows my freaking mind. It's basically the, like the texture of a frog, so if you've got a topwater frog, it's that exact texture, but it's a square bill crankbait, so I don't even know what this thing's gonna do. I don't know if it's even gonna run right. I don't know. I want to test this thing out so bad that I'm about to fly down to Texas where it's warm just to throw this bait right here. So that is a BD Series 1.5 soft square bill. This is in like a chartreuse black back color. I, I just can't even get over this, that, they, that like they were able to make this and they put a weight in it so obviously it's gonna be able to run right. I don't know. I have no idea if this thing is gonna catch fish or not. All I know is I really want to throw it. The, the advantages of this thing would be, I don't know, that it's soft and maybe when the bass eats it, they won't let go of it so quick so it's gonna be like a texture of like an actual like an actual fish. This could be a game changer, really. I, I, I'm really excited to see if this works and how many other companies and competitors are really gonna start like coming out with stuff like this because this really could be a game changer. The next bait that we have is a Bagley Rattling B-. And this is a LTB exclusive, which means you can't get this unless you got these Lucky Tackle Box. So this is a lipless crankbait. It's got some uh, pretty hefty rattles in it. One thing I do know about this is it runs similar to this with its head down. And what that does is when you're bringing it across a log, it'll hit this and kind of deflect. So you don't get your hooks hung up. Instead of it running like this and then you're just catching your hooks, it'll run like that. That's one thing I do know about this from watching the Lucky Tackle Box YouTube videos is that is what that little dude will do. But that's in a great color, like a sexy shad color. That's probably my favorite lipless crankbait color uh, just for all around, for year round fishing. And like I said, this is a new bait. So I, I can't really give you my personal opinion on whether it's gonna catch a lot of fish. With those rattles, I would assume it's just gonna absolutely destroy in the spring. Um, but you never know, I have no idea. Looks like, a, looks like a pretty sweet bait to me. The next bait, this is something I've never even thrown. It's super intimidating. Lucky for you guys and lucky for me, Lucky Tackle Box made a video about this and uh, it was teaching you guys how to use this bait. Because this is a bait that like you can't just take out of the package and throw it. Travis at Lucky Tackle Box was explaining to me, he lives in California, so they throw this stuff all the time. He was explaining to me that like 
that you, there's like you have to be able to throw this in like a very specific way like I, I don't even remember what he was saying it didn't make a whole lot of sense to me they should have a video up on their YouTube channel on how to throw something like this but for those of you guys that don't know what a spy bait is basically it's like a like a jerk bait but it's got these blades on it if you guys could see how well you guys can see it. it's got blades it has no lip and so this thing just kind of like shimmies down in the water and then you bring it and it just it's just like a super finesse presentation so you only want to throw this probably when it's clear water so if you guys are fishing in ponds and lakes and the water is clear you could definitely throw this not that you could not catch fish when it's dirty but more than likely this is just it's kind of like a really super finesse clear water presentation so but it, uh, it, it does look pretty sweet I'm pretty impressed with uh, the paint job I know it is a very expensive bait it's a very expensive bait I do know that that's about all I really know about it I'm excited to take this thing out in the spring actually I'm going to California next week I might take this with me. Also, if you guys think I should like put stuff in the background here, like a backdrop with a bunch of lures or something, you let me know. This isn't like my official filming studio. This is just kind of what I threw together. Um, like I've been saying in videos, is like I've moved into a different house, and so I'm kind of just trying to get situated with what I'm what I'm gonna do and what kind of backdrop I'm gonna have. So let me know in the comment section down below if you think yes. You definitely need something back here where no, we like it plain and crisp and clean. The next bait that we have here is a BD series four inch swim bait. Swim and fishing is one of my favorite things to do. I don't do it a whole lot, but when I do do it, do do. I do catch big fish. That is one thing I do like about throwing swim baits is they catch big fish. These are just kind of like more subtle finesse ones. So these are probably better for your everyday angler. I mean, I'm used to throwing kind of like the bigger ones. These dudes, you could throw anywhere. You could throw them in ponds, you could throw them in lakes, you could throw them in rivers. It really doesn't matter. It's it's definitely small enough to where you could catch any size bass. It's you know, like you don't need giant you don't need giant bass to catch any fish on this. Uh, but it's pretty pretty sick color actually. It's it's got like a little holographic sparkle to it. A little just just your standard little hollow, hollow belly four inch swim bait. Next we have the Cabin Creek 2.75 Junior Express Croc Green Pumpkin Blue and Copper color. These dudes right here are just your fin not really finesse, but they're I mean they are small. They're they're small little craws. What I would do you can do a lot of things with this. What I would do with it is I'd probably put it on the back of a finesse jig. Now you could do a lot of things. You could put this on a Ned rig. You could put this on a shaky head. You could put this, you could actually drop shot this thing. If you're John B, you'll probably throw this thing on a drop shot. You could do a lot of fun things uh, with a little crowd like this, but personally, I'd probably just throw it on the back of a little like green pumpkin or like a peanut butter and jelly colored finesse jig. Now that it's, you know, getting really cold, the bass like finesse jigs this time of year. And so I'd, that's probably what I'd throw this little dude on. But you can do a lot of different things with this type of craw. It's very versatile and uh, it's a good bait. It's a good size lure for November. If you guys are still able to fish where you are in the country, that is a good lure to throw. Next, we have something really unique. This is a Outcast Tackle Wobblehead. And this is the 401 jig. 401k jig or something like that. I don't know what it is, but this is basically just the wobble head and all it all it is is just this little piece of lead. It's just a literally a hunk of lead. Um, but what you do is you put this on your hook and then you tie your line to it and it's it's a free swinging weight. I just recently started fishing with wobble heads. I featured them in like a video a couple, couple weeks ago maybe and it's it's really a good way to just find a fish. If you're fishing just like a pond you've been to, you don't know what the bottom is. You don't know if there's rocks or if there's grass or if there's weeds or wood. You don't really know what's on the bottom of the lake. This is a really good way because it doesn't really get hung up very much. And it's heavy and it's kind of like a, it's shaped kind of like a plow. So it's really going to kind of dig into the bottom of the, the, the body of water that you're fishing. You really get a sense of what the bottom is. So if the fish are relating to the bottom, if they're on rock piles and stuff like that, Fishing something like this is actually like a really good technique, especially at this time of year. Sometimes they get grouped up on rock piles. If, if you don't have a lot of shad in your lake, then more likely they're probably feeding on crawfish, in which they're going to be in the rocks. Crawfish hide in the rocks. So this is a great lure to throw to target those bass that are eating crawfish in the rocks. Not going to throw this though because it'll put a freaking hole in that wall. Last but not least, we've got some hooks. Now this is actually pretty important. These are mustad size two and four hooks. Why is this important? Because you got the square bill and you got the lipless crankbait in which if you catch a lot of fish on them, you will dole the hooks out in which these dudes right here are some of the best hooks on the market. So you could swap these guys out right now if you don't like the stock hooks or you know you catch a few dozen fish on one of those baits. Then you come back to your lucky tackle box, get the hooks, you change them out, you catch more fish. So that is pretty much all I have for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I am going to Alabama next week, coming back home for a day, then going to California for a week. 
So I am going to be very busy. So if you guys are watching this and you're like, God, Flair, get out of your freaking house and go catch some fish. I'm about to. I promise you, I am going to. It's cold outside. This is why I'm wearing this, this dope American hat. It's freaking cold outside. It's like 28 degrees, which I'm going duck hunting tomorrow. But that's not the point. I am going to Alabama, then California, and then Texas. And I'm just going everywhere. I'm just going to start traveling and catching lots of big fish with other YouTubers and having a fun time. So if you're watching this video and you're getting tired of me making unboxings inside my house, just wait. I promise, good fishing content is coming. That is all I have for today's video. If you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up, drop a comment down below. I do my best to get back to every single person that leaves a comment as far as questions go. Thank you so much for watching and peace.